I'll be the last one left when the lights go out I'm down to one last breath But I can't stop now, we all fall down sometimes Yeah, but I'll be the We're back again, sorry for a long time of not being Carrying you along in our researches and all those things So, we're back with another concept Just to bring out what we have discovered about this pulse motor generator and as usual this has not been an ordinary pulse motor generator when you look at this diagram the picture there indicates something extra that is unusual in the way we have been designing this pulse motor system the caption as you have in following us here the three energy pulse motor with BLS, BLDC motor concept. This is not just an ordinary design of your pulse motor, the conventional pulse motor system you know. Here we are making use of two magnets, the north and south pole system. And in this case, one is repelling and one is attracting. But we want to look beyond this concept as just an ordinary motor. We want to look at it using an in-depth analysis whereby we can analyze this beyond the norm. What are we saying here is that as you can see you have your north pole and the south pole. Here is the triggering coil. And one thing we must understand about this free energy system Free energy system is not something you have to just take it like that. You don't just take it the way it is. You have to believe in your heart that something like this can work. You have to close your eyes and see with the eyes of your heart the workability of this concept because the conventional system, the school system and even the information we all have been hearing can never allow us to believe that actually we can generate or design a system that can give us an extra or an over unit but in the real sense when you look at nature the way we do business the things we do around you understand that when you sow things and allow nature to take its course you see that you make profit and if we can look at energy generation from that point of view, you see it is obvious that actually one can design an over unit system. So here, and I have found out from years of research that if we must get to the root of this or get a solution headway to this, it must truly come from an electromagnetic system because in your physics laws, it is state, stated that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but can be transformed from one point or from one form to the another. So since we are talking about an electromagnetic concept here, the electronic component, uh, the ele electrical component of this system is a separate unit, while the magnetic system is another form. So when we combine this, you see that you can actually impute an electromagnet an electric signal into this thereby since it cannot be destroyed the electric component that is sent into this system is coming back through this get that energy you are sending here is coming back to charge this battery now what happens to the magnetism you induce a magnetic energy here and this generates a movement due to the force of that magnet, the repulsive force. Now, the repulsive force of that same magnet will cause this flywheel to rotate freely. And as the flywheel is rotating, mind you, we are making use of this north pole as a repelling force. While this attracting force is coming in for free. Now, 
you can also understand from this picture that whenever a magnet approaches a coil, something happens. There is, there is always an induced energy into this coil. So we now ask ourselves, what happened to that induced energy? It is true that as this magnet is approaching this, the starter coil, it has induced a current. And that current, if harnessed properly, should be used as energy source to charge or to do useful work. Reminding us the fact that this starter is not just an ordinary system. This is like when you have your boost converter. The boost converting system we all know. It works in voltage amplifiers and other things. This boost converter, you can see when a coil is introduced or connected to a battery. At a certain frequency, the voltage of the system thus increase. And remember, the boost converter is very, very effective in energy conversion. So when we say, let's say now, we have 100 watts energy induced in this coil. And this boost converter raises the voltage and gives us about 85% or 90% of the total energy sent here under amplif amplification. Now, we know that, yes, the system amplified either the voltage from 12 volts maybe to 24 or to 48 depending on your choice but the current the power remains constant that means 100 watts going in we have up to 90 plus 95 or thereabout watts here yes the system under the normal principle has lost some power due to inefficiency in conversion but the magnetic force that is generated that is generated by this system remains constant and even sometimes depending on your design the magnitude is higher now we are looking at that magnetism as a force in this system so we believe that whenever this is induced in this concept or in this context energy is transformed transferred or the voltage is boosted yes we lose a fraction of it but we have gotten the same amount of energy from the battery through this induction system at a higher voltage but most times we don't consider the magnetic energy released here so that is why we are talking about this concept now if you can design this system with a strong magnet remember the secret must be you have to provide a very powerful magnet for you to understand this when you look at the research conducted using they call it the gap generator system i saw the system and i saw the concept i understood that truly free energy system using electromagnetic concept is just the only way out it's just the only way out is the only way out based on this fact if this magnet is powerful enough when this freely rotates across this coil there will be a huge amount of energy released or induced in this coil now mind you all you have to do is to make sure this system keeps rotating we are not talking about the the rotational force that is being generated all we are talking here is just the induced power that is coming into this system and since this repulsive force is strong enough to keep this system rotating even while this system has been induced or while it is still under load that gives us a leverage to produce a free energy now this system repairs under rotation the North Pole. Since this is a North Pole, it repels. 
and at the same time attract you are having two times the input energy because the repulsive force time okay times the attractive force working simultaneously on this flywheel and since it is a heavy flywheel gravity will have its own effect on this system we are by stopping this system from bring drag to the zero point because of all this that is happening here so the the picture we want to paint here is that you must have a clear a, a very strong magnet a powerful coil and when you design this very very effectively you will have nothing to stop you from harnessing extra power from this simple concept we have been, we've overlooked this part of it we have been seeing it as just the the back emf coming from this battery as um, coming from the coil as the only source now we are using another part introducing another part to harnessing this energy whereby this coil instead of making it a single coil coil, uh, coil system it has to be double so that the free induced power will be released through that free or generator or you call it alternator coil that alternator coil will serve as a pathway through which this induced energy coming from the second magnet the second effect will now be conveyed or transferred to your battery or whatsoever through that coil remember this the first action will produce a, a, the, the normal back emf we know into this battery but the second concept gives you the the free energy from the second magnet so we we'll have to introduce you to the real picture to the real deal of this concept let's go so back to the this is our pulse motor system but here we have a BLDC motor concept on this as you can see from this indicator this is a whole effect sensor switch and how this you can see when the north pole is approaching this whole effect look at what happens so the system is ready though we've not connected the supply battery the input battery so what we want to show you here is the effect of the whole thing we have been telling us theoretically so when this is moved you can see from the meter that this coil we have two two coils though we just use um, a smaller system this should be called a micro a micro system using smaller magnets though very powerful but they are not up to scratch they are not up to the standard we are talking about we want to, you to whenever you want to make use of this you have to go for the strongest magnet you can ever lay your hands on then this coil here and here they are serving as the triggering coil while this is the output coil that will capture the energy of the free wheel free free rotation so if this is inducing up to two volts from this small rotation that in that same way if we use a more powerful magnet this slight rotation can still give us something higher than this then and because it will be higher and stronger then the induced magnet the induced emf will be stronger so now this is your free energy coming from this system 
always remember that your pulse motor system functions the same way as your boost converter. No, a fraction of energy is lost at, due to amplification, but energy is transferred from one battery to another in that process. Once the flywheel is on, you can now capture the second source of energy. Whenever this is working as a free energy system, this is an open unit, open system that will capture energy from the environment. So you can see now the system is on. The movement is like this because of the size of the battery we are using. It should be running under the 24 volt system from 24 and above. Then you can see something coming out here. Yeah, it's showing us a 3 volts from a, just a part of this coil. So this one, this side is not connected to any load. And this is just how the system is working. Energy is coming from this place. And this is also a source that will transfer the reactive pulse from this system, from the magnet. So this, the back EMF flows through this channel and here this one is just an, an alternator that is generating energy as a result of this rotation. So when we try to Bring, reach this system, you can see something. It will slow down, but it will never stop the system. It slows the movement, but the system keeps rotating. Now, you don't have to keep your output coil short always. It has to be pulse. Since the system is also a pulse system, the output must be a pulse output. It mustn't be steady. You must connect it to a pulse system that will send the energy coming from this to your load. By so doing, you will maximize the free energy coming from this flyway. And also remember the wider the, mag the, the flyway, the more force you can harness from the environment. We are talking about a free energy from the environment. Since this is an open system, the wider the flywheel, the better the system works. So we can design this and make the system wider, thereby increasing the energy output of this whole concept. So enjoy the concept. Remember, the secret is that you are not you will not understand this system with your eyes open you can only get the picture when your eyes is closed thank you from jf green energy concept see you as we expand this video thank you